What's going on guys? Geosnow right here. So in today's video we have a very very quick update about the cool booter. Now if you remember yesterday I made a video in which we discussed about the fact that it has been updated for 32-bit uh, devices, especially for the iPhone 4s. Now literally 16 hours ago it has been updated yet again. Well it shows 9 hours in here but it's been 16 hours ago. And as you can see this was the update we discussed about yesterday made 3 days ago but yesterday it was updated yet again because uh, this time it was updated for the CLI and um, the changes are iPhone 4s support, more stability and a custom data partition size option. Now this is important because um, as some of you probably know the uh, cool booter itself does allow you to dual boot AR device, especially the 32-bit devices, since it's not compatible with 64-bit. And we've discussed about the uh, the recent update in this video in here, so I'm going to put it in the description down below so that you can see it and understand better the context. Also. Some of you uh, told me in uh, in the uh, comment section, especially a uh, dude that I'm going to show you right now in here. Let me try to... Oh, okay, I found him. Uh, Extreme Autocorrect Fails told me that he had a problem with his iPhone 4S, iOS 9.3.4 jailbroken with Home Depot. He couldn't get it working due to an error uh, not run running as root. So I've been going back and forth with Cool Booter Twitter account in private messages and explain the problem and uh, he told me that you might be running an older version if you get that error or there might be problem with the offsets on the Home Depot. Now normally uh, Cool Booter itself should be compatible with Home Depot but anyways it has been re-updated again especially the CLI tool or the command line which, um, which means this one can be open in terminal. Now if you want me to make a video on how to use this and um, yeah, how to use the uh, the terminal version, you can tell me to do so in the comment section down below. Anyways, as I've recommended before, go ahead and follow Cool Booter on uh, Twitter. Definitely recommend it if you're interested in this project or if you're using Cool Booter to dual boot your device. Anyways, uh, in the description of this video and also in the description of the previous video, you have a video in which I, um, I also show you how Cool Booter works and how you can get two operating systems, two iOS versions at the same time running on your device. I'm currently, for example, running on an iPhone 4 because this is my only 32-bit device that is jailbroken. As I said, it has to be 32-bit. And I'm running iOS 7.1.2 and iOS 6.1.2 at the same time and I can switch between them uh, whenever I want. So this is basically what it does. And of course, the secondary operating system, for example, in my case, the iOS 6, uh, six point whatever uh, is fully functional. It uh, it actually takes uh, advantage of your passcode from your main OS. So, for example, if you're on iOS 7.1.2 and you have your passcode 0000, it's going to automatically install iOS 6, for example, with that passcode and uh, can be changed from the main OS. Keep that in mind. Anyways, the update is of course available on Cool Booter's repo, which is this one. This is what you need to add in Cydia. I have already shown you in this video how, how you can add it in Cydia. This is how it looks like, the application. I'm not going to get into it yet again, because I just showed you that yesterday. But keep in mind, it has been updated. The CLI tool has also been updated. So it's important if you've been getting errors, you can try with CLI 1. And again, it has a custom data partition size. So this means that you can make it smaller or bigger as you wish, which wasn't possible up until now. Now the update pushed a couple days ago was for the application itself, which was this one. The CLI tool is a different thing, is also available on the same repo, but this one can be open in the terminal. Keep that in mind. And if you open it in terminal, it looks like this. This is what you're going to get, something like this in the uh, in the terminal. So you need to know how to use uh, how to use it and how to um, how to build with it. But anyways, this is pretty much what you what you need to do. And uh, yeah, this is actually it. If you want to take up the uh, the latest update, go ahead in the description. You're going to find the repo as well as the demonstration video in which I show you how it works and also the um, the video about the update for the application one. So this is actually it guys, till the next time I'm Geosnow, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.